And what a silly idea to go out and sign the best football player on the planet who's a free agent on a team that may be contending. I mean, what a silly idea that is. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's a need, certainly, but is it an immediate need, RC? Is it something they should do right now? Well, I don't necessarily think you have to do it right now because you don't know where Odell Beckham Jr. is. But Mike T said something like when it first when they first started talking, Jeff kind of worked me and wooed me a little bit and I was on his side. And then Mike T said something. Why not go sign the best available free agent oh, at the position buy into his hyperbole. might be contending? <laughs> That's exactly what the Los Angeles Rams did. They were already a contending team. When Odell Beckham Jr. was on the market, they didn't necessarily need him, obviously having Cooper Cup, who eventually became the Triple Crown winner. But look what Odell Beckham Jr. was to that team in the playoffs. Look at how he started the Super Bowl. This was a guy who Jalen Ramsey told me when he was talking to him, he felt was going to go out and win the MVP. And so if Odell Beckham Jr. is healthy, a guy that can get back around game eight, game 10 and you're the Dallas Cowboys and you're contending I do believe this is a signing that you make because this is a signing that can make you better especially when you lose guys like Amari Cooper and Cedric Wilson in free agency and also by trading them well Jerry Jones said let's give the kids a chance first before we react he doesn't feel like there's pressure to do anything but you feel the opposite yeah and RC says something really interesting there too like they don't know where he is with the injury and I would tell you based on my experience guys that's another reason to sign him where now when you could rehab in our facility get to know the offense so whenever you're ready you're hitting the starting line sprinting and that's where you don't know if it's week six week ten but the sooner you sign him the more he learns the offense the more you can integrate him into playing at the highest level possible. Now, what, what, what is also the chance, guys, Jeff, that, that somebody else signs Odell and now that opportunity is lost for Dallas? Should there be urgency there just because well, of that? Ode Odell has say in this, by the way. Don't forget that. He's going to want to be on a contending team. Like, I understand Mike's trying to get his 3% by getting him on a roster so he can get that guaranteed <laughs> money week one. But what Ryan's point about Either getting early. him week eight to week 10, that makes sense. If, that, if they're a contending team and Odell wants to go there then, sure. But right now, overreacting to a couple of injuries that eventually will heal themselves by, like, week two, week three, that feels like we should pump the brakes just to maybe, it's maybe just a touch. But when Ryan said it, it was so much more rational. When Mike T said it, he just he continues to sound more and more like a media member and less and less like a league executive every single day. Wow, wow. I, I, I'm Since a problem he's on solver. Actually, That's what I, actually it's amazing. Go, Mike T, this is your new job. <laughs> Jeff, job. Jeff, is, Jeff is talking about you as if you're an agent and not a GM, but I remember you as a GM always loved the, wait, there's a name out there to get to make us better. I'm jumping on. That was always your MO. Hey, the object of the exercise is to win games. And when you're competing against the Rams and the Bucks, like, again, I, it also, I, I don't see the downside to this move. 3%, 2% OBJ. I'll take whatever you want to give me. But let's go win a championship <laughs> in Dallas. Maybe later in the show, Mike T can represent Lamar Jackson and get him, him signed as well. But Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.